Hi now friends, it's Miranda and welcome back to Corgi's Wine and Nails. I do have a Corgi, his name is Ryder and he likes to bark during my videos. Part of the reason why we call this channel Corgi's Wine and Nails. Um, I do have some wine and we have some fun nail um, actually prep and repair today because look at this tragedy. I had all my nails grown out <laughs> to one length. It was my natural nail with a thin layer of uh, builder gel, clear builder gel from Triple D on top. And I completely busted this middle one all the way off. So I think this is gonna be a good opportunity um, to do the dual form um, application of the gel. This um, is it right here. It's clear opulent builder gel in a bottle. And we're going to try it out um, for the first time without actually having a nail. <laughs> I only have the nail that's on my nail bag. We're gonna make an extension and try to get it to match my other nails. And then I'll also refresh some of the builder gel that's a little bit kind of like peeled and lifted. And I'm gonna do actually a complete nail prep too. So you can see how I prep my nails. So stay tuned if you wanna see how I do all these things. Okay, so first things first, um, I do have these dual forms. These are also used with like poly gel. Um, and these are from Triple D, the gel liquids, you need gel base and the builder gel, um, and then a 48 or higher, 48 watt or higher um, UV LED lamp. And then to prep, here's what I'm gonna do. Some of these other things are optional. You also really need rubbing alcohol because you'll have a sticky layer. Oh my gosh, of course my dog decides he's gonna make the most noise while I'm getting started here. Um, here's what we're gonna do to get started. I use the Pink Lemonade Cuticle Softener from Sparkle & Co. And I'm going to get all that crustiness and dryness and dead skin off of my nails to start and um, clear all my cuticles off. So this is nice because it's in this little squeeze bottle. And so you're not like, dipping a brush in and out of this. This is great because it's just kind of like, you know, pretty sanitary, I would say. Um, although I don't share my products, I'm just DIY at home. Like most of you, it's just kind of reassuring to know like I can't really mess this up. <laughs> and so I'm gonna let this sit on for about two minutes. I just put like a nice layer, a little bit on the nail bed, um, a lot on the cuticle, and I just let it sit for two minutes. And then I have this um, pumice stone um, cuticle pusher basically is what it is and um, I have this in my Amazon link if you ever want to find it um, it's down in the description in my Amazon shop so it's probably been about two minutes and um, there's no exact science it's just recommended one to two minutes uh, whenever you're comfortable with and then I'm going to scrub and basically sloth away any dead skin that is on my new nail growth, as well as any um, kind of scrub down if there's any lifting from the old gel. But you can see like all that, this is kind of the satisfying part. Sorry if this grosses you out at home, but this is part of the process, you know? And I'm just gonna show you the whole thing. But yeah, the gel just really picks up all that dead skin and then um, it leaves your nail bed really nice and cleansed. And it also, um, that invisible cuticle, which you might not even know is there, is all lifted away. So I'm just going to do this to all the nails. Make sure that everything is nice and tidy. Any dry or dead skin is removed and that the nail plate is clean. And I really only need to do this for me on the new growth um, and the cuticle skin area right there. But it's already kind of looking fresher. Hopefully you can tell. And my dog is drinking his water as loud as possible. I swear he's been napping until I started a video. It's every time I try to make a video, my dog wants to be a star in the show. I'll try to insert a picture of him <laughs> so he can get his you know, five seconds of fame. Uh, so here we're just scraping away that dead skin. 
And I'm gonna try to keep this video as a talk through. It's what I prefer to do. Um, I'm kind of cringy at voiceovers. <laughs> and y'all are sweet that still watch my videos anyways. Um, I love you guys. But yeah, I, I overthink voiceovers and it just takes me forever to try to edit a video if I do a voiceover. So I'm hoping to do this kind of like a quick, um, just a quick one, show you what I'm doing and how I uh, prepare my nails and then how I'm gonna fix this one with an extension. And I actually do get asked this a lot. So um, it's probably one of my top requests on people that have problems with lifting. Um, I get a lot of questions on that. And so I'm just kind of showing you my routine that works for me. And I really don't have lifting issues, um, but I don't know if that's partly because my nail beds might be drier. Um, it's always kind of like a, a body chemistry thing too, you know, that comes into play. So I can't always be sure um, what someone's issue, like the root cause, what they might be experiencing, but I definitely try to help with questions or, um, you know, make recommendations on these products that I'm using today. Um, and hopefully it helps someone out there that is DIY like me because that's what's really great about this nail community is we just, as we learn tips and tricks, we just share with each other. And that's what I love, love, love. Okay, so yeah, I feel like that's looking so much better from how it was so crusty and gross earlier. I hope you guys can tell a difference. And then, um, if you were wondering about my wine glass earlier, I have some Chardonnay in there, but <laughs> You guys have to tell me in the comments below if you've done this or how many times you've done it because I kind of do it more than I'd like to admit. But um, I had, um, I wanted to chill it a little bit more than it was. So I set it in the freezer and I forgot that I put the bottle in the freezer. So when I went to look for it this evening, <laughs> yeah, I had a frozen bottle of wine. Luckily, I had a backup to open, so I opened that one and um, poured a, you know, a little like half glass while I <laughs> let the other one <laughs> defrost. And so now I'm basically made my own wine slushy. So I'm just gonna pretend like I did that on purpose because it's you know summertime and it's hot. I'm just gonna pretend like I was like, you know, my past me was doing a favor for future me. And now I got a little wine slushy drink. Okay, and then see where there's a little bit of lifting right there. I'm just kind of scrubbing that um, spot to get any of the extra builder gel off. And my nail is crooked here. So I'm hoping I'm staying in shot. There's nothing worse than trying to be in shot for a video and not being in it for like 90% of it. I will cry if I wasn't. Just kidding, I'll just be bummed. Cause I wanted to make this video for you. Okay. And I've been um, I've been saying this lately to explain also, just while I'm cleaning and talking to you guys. Um, I haven't been making videos as regularly. For me they are. Um, they're challenging for me to make. And it's also very time consuming for me to do them. Um, I feel like they're so easy for everybody else. Just for me, I it, they're always they've always been a challenge for me, and that's really kind of the reason why I even started experimenting with videos um, was because I liked learning about editing and something new that I wasn't familiar with. Um, definitely not trying to be a YouTube star or anything like that. This is just like a little hobby. Um, but okay, that's looking really good. So I still have a little like builder gel that's lifted right there. And if I need to, I'll get out my file, but I was gonna try to just kinda smooth it down with the pumice stone. But yeah, anyways, I haven't been making videos as often as I used to, and um, my son has type one diabetes, and it's just, um, you know, his management is, for his health is really important to us, and I just don't have as much time as I used to, so. 
that's all. I hope you guys can forgive me and that you still love me because I still love you. But he's three, he's doing great. We went to a um, another three-year-old's birthday. I um, scooted out for my lunch break. It was during the day at work, while I was at work, um, and I'm working from home still. And so that was really nice to have that flexibility to take him to that little birthday. It was a little swimming um, event at a neighborhood pool. And he's doing great. Some of the kids asked, you know, what's that on him? Because he has a Dexcom and an Omnipod, um, which is his insulin pump and his um, glucose, um, continuous glucose meter. And uh, yeah, everybody was really accepting and kind about it. And I thought that that was really great. All right. so. Now I am going to go scrub with a nail brush and Dawn and warm water at the sink. All right, so I hope that wasn't too boring watching me scrub dead skin off of my cuticle and my nail bed, but um, I think hopefully you can tell it's like a world of difference. And um, then what I do is I wipe with rubbing alcohol. and just make sure that I got any of that gel off. And I mean, I just did a nail brush and scrub with Dawn and everything, but this also just kind of helps dehydrate the nail and have everything ready to go. Um, and then I went and grabbed this product while I was waiting for um, the gel to sink in and you know remove the dead skin. And this is from Triple D as well. It's called Ultra Bond Gel Primer. And I was thinking about it because um, a lot of people that ask me about lifting, um, this is the best solution for them. I um, had shared that I don't have a you know big problem with lifting, but I wanted to just throw this in that is optional and will be helpful for you if you have lifting. And so just apply it kind of around the new growth here. I do still have a little bit of um, the, you know, the old builder gel, I have a thin layer. So I'm just gonna kind of do like a fill and then um, shape and file it down. That's my plan today. And then this one, we're gonna do a whole new nail. But yeah, this is definitely optional, um, but helpful if you have lifting. And I'm doing my, um, I'm using my non-dominant hand to do my dominant hand. So if I seem like shaky and weird, uh, yeah, I just don't have a very steady hand. <laughs> okay, so this is basically specially formulated for gels. Don't use it with your dips, but for gels, um, it just makes this um, additional tackiness to really have your gel grip to your nails. And then uh, you will want to use gel base. You do need this every time that you use the Builder Gel. Um, this is like your foundation layer. And I just opened this new one because I love you guys and I didn't want you to judge me with my old one. That is um, kind of at its last legs. <laughs> so it's like, I'll just get out a fresh one. And do a full coat. I actually shouldn't have done my thumb first now that I think about it because um, it, it, nothing's going to happen here, but um, I usually do the top four fingers and then the thumb last so that nothing runs, if that makes sense, because gravity will kind of pull up the gel and the gel doesn't like really lock down until you cure it. Um, hard to hold my hand this way. I do have to also hold my hand like in a weird, um, kind of more outstretched position, the water on me, um, so that I can film. So that also makes me a little like, I don't know, jittery looking. <laughs> all right. So we did that on all the nails. I love this tool. This is from Triple D. Um, you'll notice that I love Triple D products. I am an ambassador for them and, and that's because I truly love them and I've been an ambassador for years because they are absolutely a fantastic brand and they offer so much. There's a little fuzzy on this 
silicone tip, but I really like this little silicone tool tip because I can easily clean up right in that little sweet spot around the cuticles um, and get all the gel just nice and cleaned up before I cure. And then on this end, this is perfect for when you're cleaning up your dip powder cuticle line. So yeah. Now I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, now here's the fun part. Since I'm doing just a refresh on all of these nails, I did do my gel base all at one time. Um, but if I was going to do build a nail, um, I would really honestly just do it individually. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm kind of being like, you know, lazy and cheating today. <laughs> But I've already picked out my dual form size. Um, this particular one is a three, and I already know that it fits my middle finger, but I'm gonna do that last. And I'm gonna get out the opulent builder gel. Be sure I close this up, I don't want any light exposure. There's a clear, there's an opulent, and then there's a clear opulent. So the clear is what I've been having a lot of fun with lately. Um, they also have different colors. So they have lilac, black, white, Lavender, um, a blush pink, a peach, um, kind of a deeper pink. They have a lot of different colors now in these builder gels and they're so fun. I was wearing the lilac and it is gorgeous. It's like my favorite color lavender. It's like this kind of lavender. It's really, really pretty. So for the fills on my nails that I don't need a form or anything for, I'm just gonna do a nice thin coat. And that's it for those nails. Uh, and that gives me just an, a little extra strength and protection. Um, I use, I do this as kind of like a foundational layer to protect my natural nails. And I was really lucky that they grew out as long as they did. But then of course, tragedy. I almost thought about punishing everybody. <laughs> and um, chopping them all. I was like, maybe maybe I should make a video for that. I don't know. But I was like, nah, I will use builder gel and bring them back to life, hopefully. So, okay. So I'm gonna do the thumb kind of quick because I'm gonna have to hold the um, form on. I don't use the clips. There's clips that you can get. But yeah, I'm gonna, on my thumb, kind of make sure I get right to the cuticle edge. And then I don't want it too thick. You can always file and buff down to the right thickness that you like. But I just definitely wanna make sure around my cuticle line that it is filled in. And it's super easy to do that. I'm gonna get that edge a little bit better. Oh my gosh, I'm making a little bit of a mess. There. Oh, I think I got a fuzzy in it. That's what I did. Okay. All right, so here's the part where it's gonna get fun. I'm gonna put Basically, I'm gonna load this up and I'm gonna load it up even higher than the fourth little groove or line that's a marker for length because I'll just follow it down um, to the length that I want. But when you're doing this, be sure you get like right to the edges because I didn't do that the other day. Um, and I ended up having like a little like just a little spot that wasn't um, coated with the builder gel. And so then I had like a little gap. All right, so I kind of don't want it to be too thick down here. I'm gonna kind of scoot it up a little. <laughs> like I want some in there, but not a lot. And then just kind of, there's, I'm sure there's people that are experts at this. I'm not, so. You're just doing nails with Miranda. This is how we go. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down, press it down, 
And then we need to go like right into this meal lamp. Make sure it's straight though, hold on. Okay, right into the nail lamp. Oh shoot, I didn't think about that some of my nails might not get in the lamp. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. For those of you that watch my videos uh, regularly, you know I always mess something up. So <laughs> this video is just like every other video that you've watched, but it's okay because there's nothing that we've done that can't be fixed, which is always hopefully maybe reassuring. Um, I'm gonna do this for 60 seconds and then we'll get the thumb and the pointer involved but I wasn't thinking about how um, holding my middle finger was gonna like block my ability <laughs> to put my pointer and thumb into the lamp. Okay, so it's been a minute and I'm gonna see if, oh, there it goes. So I just popped that off. It was really easy. And um, I can just wipe this form with alcohol and use it again. I've actually done that a couple times. Um, and we just made a clear nail. Um, I did get a bubble there. This is my first time to ever actually trying to recreate a full nail, especially like, yeah, this, but um, I still like it. I think it's good. I'm trying to decide, I am gonna do one more layer over this um, but that's, I'm gonna go ahead and do where I cure these for a minute and just kind of like keep these up. It won't really make a difference. But we're almost getting there. All right, so I'm pretty satisfied that all of my nails have been cured. Um, I'm going to do that second layer. I haven't wiped off the tacky. Uh, there's a tackiness, the tacky layer. It's what I guess it's called um, that well, you can keep applying as long as you still have the tacky layer. So I'm gonna build another layer and I'm gonna push it down. Make sure I get right at my cuticles. Fill everything in good. And I'm gonna do a little, just kind of a good healthy coat this time. And I know it doesn't look perfect. It's not supposed to be perfectly shaped yet. We're gonna do filing, buffing, shaping, all of that. So don't worry. All right, now I'm gonna cure this for a minute. True da All right, and now I'm going to take this rubbing alcohol. I'm happy with um, the layers that I have. Ooh, so I'm gonna squirt some on here. And it's gonna be kind of funny because all these other <laughs> Nails have a natural nail underneath, so they're um, opaque. Um, but see, they turned out really. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Um, my phone was running out of storage because I took a zillion pictures of my dog and my baby and of my nails and who knows what I do. So anyways, I had to delete some stuff, but I'm back. Hey, I'm back. Cheers to us. Hey, drink break. Let's have a little drink break. Okay, so I wiped all of that sticky layer off. And one thing that I'm excited about as I start shaping this, you guys can watch if you're interested. Maybe I'll fast forward, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Um, but what I saw my friend made by Kit, um, she broke her nail all the way down and she used clear builder gel. And then she did a cute, really cute mani with a dried flower. Um, and so it's like transparent, like see-through. And I think that's gonna look nice um, or fun. Like it's kind of like a different nail art that I can try while this is clear and the um, main nail is growing out. Sorry if that noise doesn't sound cute, but it's how. Um, what we're gonna do to you file down and make it look like the other nails.
One thing I was gonna tell you about that birthday party that uh, my son and I went to, that I was really like happy that I can work from home right now um, because I never get to always miss out on stuff like that. Then one thing that I thought was kind of cute about the birthday, it was, uh, you know, like a pool party at the at their community pool. And um, I thought it was nice because this is my, my train of thought. It's not that I didn't want to get a present. I would have loved to get a present. And I actually kind of felt weird not doing the present thing. But for me, when I'm having an event for my son, um, he already has like a zillion toys. Like I literally just don't want another toy in my house. You know what I mean? Um, and he doesn't really need clothes or anything. So I kind of thought this was like a cute way to like not be, you know, adding more clutter and stuff to your house. Um, she just said, you know, no presents, um, you know, like no presents please, but if you really feel like you'd like to gift something to her son, then you can donate to his piggy bank $3. And um, all of the donations of $3 will go to a big present that they can pick out for him. So you all tell me in the comments, if you're a mom watching this, um, what do you think about that idea? Cause I kind of thought that was like, it wasn't asking for money, but it was like, if you feel like you really need a gift something, you know, like I kind of like understood, you know, like we don't need like 10 more presents or 20 more presents or 30 more presents. And she has a lot of friends. So she actually had like 30 to 40 people there. <laughs> um, so I could kind of like feel her on that, I'm not the front like level of friendships, but, <laughs> but the number of toys, like that's a lot. So um, yeah, so we donated to the piggy bank and you know, we did extra than $3, but I just thought that that was like cute as an idea. You'll have to tell me if you think that that was cute or weird, I don't know, I liked it. I was a fan. Um, I'm liking how these are shaping up. I do want this to be brought in a little bit more. I am gonna go ahead and buff it with the buffing block because maybe I'm gonna lose the clearness of it, but I don't know. I just, I really like making sure everything's smooth on top and that's more worthwhile to me. So we'll find out if it still looks clear once I do that. But I'm just trying to bring back my coffin shape a little bit. And I think it's coming back around. I think, does my pointer, I'm trying to decide if my pointer is too long. I feel like, I have to kind of like look at all the angles. That one looks a little crooked this way. Definitely flip your hand over and decide if it looks even or not. And <laughs> this is like turning into a shaping video by accident. Um, and you can also kind of judge how the length is. So this one's still too long. Pinky looks just right to me. Since this finger is crooked, it gives me the hardest time to try to judge what is going to be balanced. Um, we're gonna have to bring in this thumb now, man. We brought down the other babies. Let's bring her down. Mm, I feel like it. Actually, and that feels a lot better than how long they were. Sometimes you just don't even realize you need to chop. Um, and then for me, on my builder gels, a lot of ladies just leave them glossy, but I love to buff the tops. And so I do run my crescent side, fine side, around the cuticles, just to keep them real nice and flush to my natural nail bed. And I just feel like it looks really natural. I like how that looks and how it feels. And then when I can, um, I put my peel base layer on and the dip over, it just feels kind of seamless. Like I never really think about my builder gel being um, any different than my natural nail, except for when I have to do a fill. And I'm like, oh man, it's a fill day. <laughs> so 
So I'm just going to shape them all up, make sure they all look crisp and fresh. And then we're going to buff here in just a second. My nails curve a lot. I don't know if you can tell. Um, probably not. Like that pinky, you can tell. My nails do have an apex curve, I guess. Which I never realized until I joined the nail community that I had that. And I started learning all about nails. My thumb's crooked too. I have so many crooked fingers, I feel like, man. I try to like look it up at all angles too. I love when people do their thumb pick like as a close up and it's like, I never do that because mine just never looks. <laughs> mine always looks crooked. <laughs> uh, we work the hand that we're dealt, you know? Okay, so I feel like maybe the middle finger looks just a little wide. Gosh, now this is turning into a shaping video and I wasn't really planning on that, but. You're seeing end to end, man. If that's what you were hoping for, then, then uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you poured a drink for this. Long video now. All right, so now let's do the buffing part. All right, and I do have a sparkly pink triple D buffing walk. I know, obsessed with triple D, all things triple D. Let me move this out of the way. I will try to link all of the um, companies and the products that I'm using. I'll list those so you can go browse their websites, you know, like including like my little like um, nail tools and stuff. Ooh, 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 see, like she's looking, she's looking like she belongs there, don't you think? Oh, I love her, this little Nia. I will also say one thing that I had um, on my mind that I didn't share earlier. Um, when it comes to doing the dual forms, I've done it over my natural nail and I've done it, or no, and then this is the first time I'm doing it. I didn't tell you guys this. This is the first time I'm doing it over a nail that didn't have a, like a natural nail underneath, you know? Um, I've tried it over my natural nails and the only thing about doing it over my natural nails because they're so long and that they have a curve to them is um, sometimes the curve doesn't match up to the form if that makes sense. So here, I'll just show you real quick. So sometimes the curve doesn't match up to the form and so it will leave like a gap. And so when I do do that, I kind of just get like a little bit heavy handed with the um, the builder gel within the dual form. And then I'll just file it down and shape it to the um, to the thickness that, that follows my actual own nail curve, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, but it's kind of hard sometimes to judge and make sure that you'll get like that fill in spot and then you can just kind of shave it down. And it really doesn't take that long to, cause it's like butter to like file and buff. This is really easy to file and buff. But I hope that makes sense. I've done it before and it wasn't, it was pretty quick and not a lot of, you know, trouble. Um, but for the most part for like a fill, like I showed you today, I'll just um, do kind of a fresh coat over what I already have going on and it, the nail shape that my natural nails already follow. Uh, but this is the first time I've done one that is on its own. So it doesn't have any structure underneath. 
And if you follow me on my Instagram, uh, maybe in my stories, um, it's my Instagram's also Corgi's Wine and Nails, if you did not know that. But uh, yeah, maybe in my stories, I'll see like how I feel the strength is going. But right now it feels really natural. Look, it looks really thin. Hopefully you can tell it looks like really thin and it feels really natural and it's strong. So I'm kind of a, I'm a fan. All right, so I think I'm done with all my filing, buffing, shaping. Did not know I was gonna get so involved in this video, but I hope you, maybe, hopefully that was what you all would like to see and want to see. I definitely knew a lot of you wanted to see my cuticle prep work. And a lot of people wanted to see using the builder gel in a bottle. So um, I did know that. I didn't know if you wanted to see all the shaping part. I felt like it kind of just like had to be there though. All right, I'm happy with how everything looks and I'm gonna go wash my hands and I will come back and show you the results. And here are the final results. I think that it turned out really great. There's one little tiny bubble right there, but um, if I do try to do that clear, um, like with the dried flower application, um, where it looks transparent through the snail, then um, I'll just, you know, put the flower over that spot. So I think it turned out good. But otherwise, in general, um, I dip <laughs> all the time. So nobody would ever know that there's a, like, a little baby bubble in there. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please like, thumbs up, subscribe, and um, I will do another one for you. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Love you now, friends. Bye.